All right, shalom. This is GMS New Orleans coming back at you with another uh, lesson, live lesson, as we always do. We always want to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor. Say Yahweh, by honors once again to the elders, apostles of GMS. Peace and blessing and salutation once again to the hope of All right. And this lesson here is going to be centered around, all right, you know, we make that statement a lot of times of, uh, you know, everybody, everybody should be looked at as if he's Yahweh Shai, all right? And with that being said, it's, it's, it's basically centered around how, how you view, how you should view your fellow brother, man, all right? All right, and if we truly using that, using that statement and, and living in, in that statement, how you uh, treat your brother, man, how you talk, actions, by, uh, to, towards your brother, because if we truly saying this is this brother, I look at this brother as Yahweh Shai. All right, you wouldn't you wouldn't do a lot of things to Yahweh Shai that you would do this man in front of you. All right, and uh, give me that other one in the New Testament by uh, when the Lord says, "How can you say you love me and you have not seen me?" I got one for you, Gordon. Yeah, bring it out. Whatever you got. <clears throat> this is Zechariah chapter seven. I'm gonna start at verse eight. And the word of Yahweh came unto Zechariah saying. Thus speak of Yahweh of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. Yeah. <clears throat> One more time. It's like it. This is Zechariah 7 and 9. Thus speak it, Yahweh of hosts. That's in all caps, the Lord. Saying, Execute true judgment and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. Why? And that's, <clears throat> that's centered around us being what? First and foremost, we are first uh, leaders. Secondly, we are teachers, man. All right. To execute all those things, we have to we have to use them all, man. Being a teacher, a leader. All right. And like I say, how we uh how we treat our brothers too, man. All right. True judgment has to be executed. All right. The thoughts of the process. All right. Because a lot of times, let's just say. A brother show you love by exhortation, rebuke. What what and then you sometimes you'd be young in the truth. What does rebuke do? It's it's, it's centered around pepper, it's a preparation for bigger things, man. A bigger things that's centered around what? Growth, development, and it's truth, man. All right, because when a brother tells you something or rebuke you or whatever, it's not it's not to it's not to destroy you, it's not to it's not to kill you, but to make you better, all right, in the end. All right. And then Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai uh, dealt with dealt with his men sternly in, in, in such a way. Even in the scripture, it said he was a forward man, right? Sometimes you got the brothers that are forward. Some brothers are gentle. Some brothers are uh, high reverend. Some brothers are, are, are low reverend. For as their personalities, you got to live with them all, all right? But ultimately, if I view you as Yahweh Shai, I'm going to do right by you. I'm not going to steal from you. I'm not going to not gonna lie on you, all right? I'm not gonna deal with your woman still. Many things, man. All right. Go ahead. You got more? Is it? Read one more time. Come we'll get into some other stuff. This is Zechariah 7, <clears throat> verse 9. It says, Thus speak of Yahweh of whole saying, execute true judgment and shoot mercy and compassion every man to his brother. Hey, every man to his brother. <clears throat> All right. Really, you should be treating your brother as if, as if, as if you how you treat yourself. You don't treat you should you shouldn't treat yourself any kind of way, man. All right. All right. You shouldn't treat yourself any kind of way. Anybody that does that, it's, I think that's a scripture. Mm -hmm. A man that, uh, that scripture that says that's evil to himself, yeah, evil to himself. You nope. shouldn't be evil to yourself. Be man. All right. You should be, you should be good to yourself, man. All right. And what's going to, what's going to tell, tell what it's going to show how you treat your brother. All right. And other people are going to see the love for one another, man. All right. Now, give me that. I told you. Yeah, it's uh first John chapter four, verse twenty. If a man say, I love the most high and hated his brother, he is a liar. He hated his brother. All right. And hating your brother gonna come in many things, like we say, lying, all right, stealing, adultery. Or just not rebuking him. And, yeah, just not rebuking him. All right. <clears throat> to love him is to fulfill the law. Right. So the opposite is the hate is to not fulfill the law. Wow. In any way, you know, in anything that goes against or despise the law. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Go ahead. It says, For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the most high whom yeah. he have not seen? Yeah, you don't you don't love the man, the man is in the camp with you. 
He's 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 y'all dealing day in and day out because that's this 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 let's face it. At the years pass by, time pass by, you start to you start to notice this other guy like like a brother. All right. You see each other dirty draws, you see each other's shortcomings, you see each other the worst. You see you see your brother when he loses, you see your brother when in his happiest moments. All right, you see, you actually see a man actually uh bring forth a seed. That seed begins to grow over time. You and that seed, the man seed, uh, sometimes grow a relationship when you come to the house, you know. So it's a lot centered around this, man. Go ahead. It says, For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love the most high who we have not seen? Hey, how can you say that? How can you say you love the most high? That you have not seen, but yet the man in front of you, all right, the man you 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 deal with, you treat him like shit. All right. You lie on him. All right. You do all sorts of men and things, man. And that's that's really something wrong with that. Go ahead. And this commandment have we from him that he who loveth the most high loved his brother also. Yeah. You love your brother also, because true love is what? You're gonna keep the commandments, all right. Keep the laws, touch commandments to your brother, all right. When I when I see this man, even in the state of discerning him, I see if he if he if he's going through something, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it with him. I'm gonna hurt with him, man. All right. If he's hungry, I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him I'm gonna get him a meal, man. He need rest. He need he need time to chill because whatever he, he hey hey brother, he go he go to my house, you know. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my best ultimately to, to keep the commandments to this man, all right? And truly treating him as if he's your Shah. That's another to make that statement, that's also another statement that's sitting around being meek, man, being the low, being the, in, in the last, man. Putting putting others before yourself. Because what well, let's face it, man. People in the world treat each other like shit. All right. People in the world treat each other like pure D shit. All right, when you when you you walk up walk up to them, introduce yourself. Nobody want to shake you. Niggas don't want to shake your hand. Nigga, look at you, you crazy man. Even when I, I know him, and he got four other guys with him. Hey, what's up, man? Slap hand. I'm not gonna be a, a weirdo or asshole. Hey, how you doing, man? My name is such and such. Niggas don't want to shake your hand. This world teaches us to, to to treat each other like shit. When guys cross the park, I don't fuck with them. The guy across the street, I don't fuck with him. But what the truth does, the truth teaches you how how to love your brother, man. From all different walks of life. From the other side of town that don't fuck with each other. From their project, that street that don't fuck with each other, man. All right? And, and that same tradition of men that we once held in the world, once we get in here, I look at the man as Yahweh Shah. Not, not because he's from the he's from the fifth war. Not because he's from the third war. All right? Not, and I'm going to say this, not because he's from another city. Because it, it got, it got niggas to be city banging. Oh, that guy from Houston. I don't fuck with him. You know, that guy's from LA. You know? Wait, uh, I got um, I got, um, I got that word. I got a word on um, brotherhood too and um online at the model. Yeah, get that one of the songs about how, how you know about Aaron's beard. I agree but go ahead. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, this is um Brotherhood and um the online ethic. And it reads, it says fraternal relations. Fraternal relations, go ahead. And that word fraternal going to uh brotherly right okay brotherly relation it says i'm gonna jump on down it says relationship between sons of the same father or mother and do we not share the same father right Yahweh? okay yeah how shy man it and jump it down it says originally relationship of a brother also friendly companionship the concrete sense of an association of men for any purpose. Association of men for what? For any purpose. And what's our purpose? The fulfillment of the fulfillment of these laws, such commandments of Yahweh Shem Shai, ultimately in hopes of making it to the kingdom. That's our purpose. That's the main mission. There's no other mission. Okay. Go ahead. It says, um, in the Middle English word, later also the. Uh, labor union yeah what what, what what we labor in this truth man huh? all right day in and day out going on the highways and byways teaching all right hoping hope in hopes of what all right waking up the elect all right go ahead 
It says individuals of the same kind. Individuals of the same kind. And with that same kind, under the same mindset, all right? Of the same agreements. Because we, we can't, like the apostles always say, we can't have, we can't have, uh, <clears throat> we believe we believe in the, in the truth, the 400% doctrine of truth, but this guy believes in, he don't believe in the chip. All right? This guy don't believe that Esau is Edom. We can't walk together, man. We can't, we can't do nothing together. But we got to be of what? Read that last part. <clears throat> it says, a class of individuals of the same kind. Of the same kind. Case in point, of the same mindset. That's right. All right? Now, that mindset is ultimately right now is to teach this truth until the Lord, all right, pulls in his men, all right, for, for, uh, for Jacob's trouble and for the famine of the word, man. We got to do that until it's, 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 it's basically evident, all right? But give me that, uh, that Deuteronomy. Uh, that was 28 and 54, right? Right. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28. Verse 54, it says, So that man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. And this, this came about when? When the curses came about, man. All right? And the Lord, for our disobedience against you, how about you, Yahweh Shai? All right, the Lord, the Lord did what? He introduced, he introduced the nation of Israel to what? The curses. All right? The curses of Deuteronomy in the 28th chapter. All right? And, and, and that did what? At one time, a man used to be what? It says what? A man used to be tender and what? It says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Right. And that, that came about. And it really, in, in a lot of ways, it's still, it's the curse of the curse is still upon us. All right. A man looks evil towards his brother. Instead of loving his brother, instead of treating his brother upright and with, with, uh, with balance, love. All right having um the ability to find what, what we know is logic and reason when disagreements come about what happens you start to look evil towards your brother man go ahead it says his eye should be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the wife of his bosom all right go ahead and towards the remnant of his children which he shall leave right and that came and that's here Right, but what happens when you enter the truth? You went, you, you get in this truth, man. Those things, a lot of those, a lot of those things shouldn't still be here. It should be, it should be pulled and wiped away from you, man. Well, you're, you're, you're actually looking at the, looking at the man aside on the side of you as your how shy with love, man, with the fulfilling of the law. All right, because this is one of the, all right, like I went into the last video, it's one of the, it's one of the easiest, but yet. It's one of the hardest for Jake to do. Jake grudge. Jake do all sorts of man of things that's contrary to the word, man. Contrary to the doctrine of what, what needs to be done. It's easy. This is an easy thing, man. To be upright, upright with a man. You know, and, and the Lord, the Lord fulfills that by various different scriptures throughout the Bible. Case in point, Matthew the 18th chapter. That's principle, that's that's Israelite one-on-one. -on -one. What it says. First and foremost, if you and your brother have a trespass or have an ought, you go to him and him alone. And from him, if he don't hear, you go you go to two or more witnesses. From two or more witnesses, you go to what? You go to the church. All right. And that and that and that's and that's just that's true. That's true. Uh, what's the word? I don't took my tongue. This is right here. Come on. Once you do that, you gain that brother. Yeah, once you do that, you gain that brother. <clears throat> you know? Everybody yeah, wants to come? I'm going to say something real quick to add to you. A lot of men have fallen pretty much under the spell of looking at your brother as Yahweh Shai. You're supposed to entreat him as Yahweh Shai, right? Because if I just look at you, what good, like, what are we, looks can go what way with? They can be mm -hmm. way with. They could be with family. They could be over here. That's why a brother look at you and you would think a brother hates you. Right. But what if you're having a bad day? You, you got to, brothers be hot. we in all kind of different con conditions. So it's not the, really the aspect of looking at them. It's in treating them, which when you go in and treat it, says discuss or arrange peace terms. Now, if I'm on in peace terms with my brother, at all costs, he'll understand 
if I happen to look at him and I ain't got the greatest face on my look. Hey, we're going to hell. hell. Tell you, we, we're going we're to hell. hell. We go, we're dealing with assholes at work. Yeah, we're dealing with assholes all in the shit. world. All right, we're dealing with some brothers. Some brothers are dealing oh, with shit. dragons at home. Yeah. Now, when I say dragons, I'm talking about the, the, the damn, the wife, the woman, the girlfriend. All right, it's giving them hell. You got affairs with the children. So a man goes through a lot of things mentally, man. All right. It's a it's a it's a literal spiritual battle, man. It's a fight. All right. Now you can see your brother fight and just watch him fight and drown, or you can do what? You can help out. Throw him a line, throw him a throw him a, a life jacket, you know. It said it says when you entreat, you enter into negotiations, which we can get uh uh we could get a common ground if we enter into negotiations. That's why if you're treating your brother instead of just looking at him as your hour shy, then y'all will find a what? A place of peace. A common it'll, ground. Man. It'll be a common ground. And that way we'll always be at peace with each other. And we can enter into the negotiations of peace. You can't just get peace by reading your mind. Well, the elders did a, the elders did a lesson, Apostle um, Rumble did a lesson, knowing the hearts of, of men, you know, you, you got to read your brother's spirit. This brother in a saw certain looks on my face. And he know it wasn't personal to him, but he pulled me out the camp like, brother, what's wrong? Like, I, I, I know your spirit. It's like, what? And I tell him, like, I, you know, fuck, I, you know, whatever at the house, some shit, brother. But he like, yeah, you know, I kind of know that something was going. But he entered into negotiations with me. He ain't treated with me. That it may be what? Peace amongst us. So it wouldn't be, you know, no, nothing in our minds. But go ahead, you got it out. And, and it's been done a lot of times with different other brothers, man. Yep. You know, including myself. Sometimes, you know, even through the vid these videos, man, you know, sitting there, all right, laboring and being uh, spiritually intimate with a brother that you know from another state, you can see that something something ain't right, something, something wrong. wrong. Yep. You know, and you something. do what? You know, if you really care and love about that brother, you you give him a call. Hey, man. Hey, brother, I, you know, what's, what's going on? I, I see you ain't in the in the right state of mind. Oh, then you, and if the man please to talk to you here tell you like oh this is going on you know my uh my parents my parents or something happened with my father or whatever like that you're like oh okay brother and you give him words of encouragement you give him the scriptures man treat you know yeah it says treat <laughs> yeah because what ultimately looking at him as you always shy and, and you hearing those things you you hearing the brother deal with you giving him what the comforter man all right a lot of times, like even even lately, man, certain events, I've been I've been super raw about about shit, individuals, all right, and and it, it really really, you know, uh, it makes me think about why we eat why we eat for the Passover, that that harsh radish, man. You start to feel and feel and go through the bitterness of this society. You you start to this truth makes you hate, and it justifies why I hate people even more, man. Why why uh. You don't like certain things in the society, man. But all that being said, you know, we got to entreat. Read it, read it, read it, read the rest of it out. Con, entreat to enter into negotiations, to especially discuss or arrange peace terms, to treat one someone in a certain way, to plead with someone, to beseech, to implore. Can somebody get a, I Go guess, a Sirach 16. Oh, it's right, six and sixteen. But like the elder brother was saying, you know, it goes into treating or pleading with him. You know, and when you plead, it means you you judge with him. You know, you judge matters with him, right? You go to the negotiations of judging, and then you get a commonplace, and then whatever may have been affecting the brother, uh, affecting you, or whatever. There's a what? There's a there's a peace treaty that's made. And then we can always get along. But it ain't just looking. It have to surpass just looking at him. And that's where Jake falls short. Oh, I'm looking at him as y'all was shot. Yeah. You gotta be action behind what we're looking at. Yeah. You got it. Always action. It's action. Always. Right, a, a, a man of the Lord doesn't deal with word of mouth. We deal yeah. with actions. You action. gotta you say that you love a man, actions gotta follow behind that. You have to be shown. Yeah. All right. And you and you see the guy, a lot of a lot of guys be faking. Right, a lot of guys be sitting up there saying a bunch of shit, doing a bunch of shit, but you, 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 you know, you know what's up with him, you know, you know what's up. Go ahead, up. Right, um, sit right. Yeah, sit right six. And I, I, I yeah, yeah, I, I was the same thing. 
It says, a faithful friend is a strong defense. Let us see. And he that had found such a one had found a treasure. Yep. Nothing that kind of veil, and that word kind of veil, it, it's, it goes into um, being worth as much as. So I'll read it again. It says, nothing that kind of veil a faithful friend and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. That's it. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, Bobby Keep going. Go down to, uh, I believe the brother stopped at 17. Come on, come on, come on. All right, verse 17, it says, Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. Yeah, so uh, however he is, so his neighbor should be also. And he's going to look at his neighbor as if he's he himself or he's Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> Sweet. Man. All right. It's like, man, that shit. Man. Sweet. He like your boy on uh, Instagram. Yo, you know what I'm talking about? about that old dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, yo. Stop that bullshit. You got a piece of that shit, man. You know? Hey. <laughs> tweeting. Yeah, it's straight tweeting, man. <laughs> Wild out. <laughs> that's an inside joke, man. Yeah, that's an inside joke, man. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, up. Uh. I got one, too. Book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 17. It says, A friend loveth at all times, and the brother is born for adversity. One more time. It says, A friend loveth at all times. A friend loveth at all times. A friend. A, fr a friend. And, and, that's, and most like, that's like that's how people in the world deal. They deal with being being friends, friends or friendly. But they know they know your uh, they know they know they know that you down bad with a you got some clothes on that don't match. You got a boogie <laughs> in your nose. Your lining crooked. The niggas ain't gonna tell you shit. Tell you if you're drunk, they see you in an embarrassing moment. The niggas ain't gonna tell you nothing, man. Not gonna do nothing about it. Really, they're gonna take advantage of you. When you're drunk, they're gonna steal your wallet. They're gonna take pictures of Take a picture of you. Put you on Instagram. Yeah, you know? And mess over you, man. And a friend is not in when you dead ass wrong. Your friend is, your friend is gonna just. He's just gonna go with he's gonna go whatever's going wrong. But it but it says a friend love it all the time, but a brother is born for adversity. A brother is born for adversity. Now the thing about a, a true brother, right? And a true brother in the mindset of, of, of looking at another brother as Yahweh Shah. I'm not if I see Yahweh Shah in a in a down bad moment, I'm gonna take yourself out of that situation. I told you that. Yeah. If you're gonna be mad, be mad at me. If you if you're not right. Oh, you got a situation going, I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is, you know? Seeing you, seeing you in the in the mind frame. Because like, you know the brothers get brothers get nice and shit. You just tell the brother, hey, brother, chill, you know. Or, you know, hey, you shouldn't for the sake of, you know, for the sake of whatever, don't, you know, don't, don't put that on, you know what I'm saying? Or don't say that. Because you got brothers in the truth too. You got you got brothers that some brothers are raw. You know, they got wild spirits and shit like that. And sometimes you just gotta, you know, you gotta critique. You don't want the brother to fully change his spirit, but you you critique certain things, like right? brother, just to for the better minute of the truth, for the better minute of the camp, you know. But as I said a friend love it all the time, but a brother do what? Born for adversity. And born for adversity. And yes, indeed, we are we do we, we do have adversity, all uh, right, riding against us, man, in the society. All right, the affairs of this life and this world, all right, bangs up against us, man. Comes up against us, and you need a, a true brother to sometimes vent to, man. I can't go to nobody else. Yeah, that's fair. I'm about to say it. We're the only people that understand the truth. We're the only people that understand what's going on and why it's happening. So right. Who, who else you gonna vent to? Outside of that, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. My minds and my thoughts is trapped in my own head. If I can't talk to nobody else. All right. Only I can can talk to a brother. He's 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 the only one in the mind frame of, of understanding. In the mind frame of, of giving me logic and reason of how how to approach a situation. And then, and like I say, and that and that's it's not done with pride because sometimes just because a brother young, you, you might you might uh, whatever you might 
bring it out to them, you know? Because sometimes, sometimes things step outside of the truth. Mm-hmm. I might not have experience with it. This is your brother here older than me. Well, I had experience in that back in such and such, you know, this is how you go about doing it. You know, you only find that out through talking, through communicating. Mm-hmm. Did you want somebody about to say something? Yeah. I was about to say, hey, you know, we, we completely you see understand. That brother hey, shut up, one mark. Yeah, but you're brother. Daughter, brother. Hey, you know, the, 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 we brought yours out. Proverbs uh, 18, 24. 18, 24, yeah. That's my yeah, get that. Get that. I was on it. I got it. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Men of the Lord, uh, you know, completely yeah, understand, yeah, even if they haven't went through it, there's some scripture somewhere that a brother has read find or heard about can look up okay break down that are, that are explain the situation and if i can say this too you know this this uh common ground this truth is the only resource that have answers all right nothing else outside this truth have an answer for brothers when they in these tough times these difficult times right you know because at the last end we know we have to overcome everything it is that we're going through you know Nothing else pro- propels you to keep going. Going away. Yeah, what, what are you gonna keep going to outside of the truth? You know, but you, you got, you got, you got. This um, uh, want me to get that? Yeah. This Proverbs eighteen. I'm gonna read twenty three because it went into what I had in truth. It says the poor use it in treaties, and you know, deal with the way they act towards, right? Uh, everything that I read, treatment. You know the things that I, I went into peace terms, right? With each other. But the rich answer up, which when the rich man they answer you any kind of that man, you coming now? Hey, my mortgage, my house about to blow up. You been law? You working for him? You been a servant there? You you take a little servant? They could be like, we could give you the money for your mortgage, but we don't got no overtime. And then just there, just go back to on the computer, as if like my 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 family lived in the house, man. Right? They don't entreat you with on peace terms. Go ahead. If, if I can uh, make this small uh, testimony, today, you know, I, I was working with two guys, and man, we were dog shit tired. You know, for brothers that don't know, I work manual labor, and these two dudes don't speak no English, so they don't understand what me and the boss are talking about. He's telling us, you know, it's almost time to go home. We got we got one more thing to do, and I see these guys tired. I'm like, yo, hey, we, we, we done for the day. You know, we fucked up. And he just like, well, you got one more thing to do, you know. And it's answer yeah, rough. he rough, he answered yes. rough, bro. Yeah. And yeah. I had to, you know, uh, uh, humble myself and and communicate with the guys that didn't speak English and tell them like, look, I understand. Let's just work together and get out of here. You know, it's just that scripture came to light just now when you read that to me. Bro. Even the oxen rest. Yeah. You don't work them all the way to the even though That's they right, work. Bro. You put them, you give them a, a time of rest, man. You be like, you call them in and let them rest, and then they'll be ready to go the next morning. I actually, but it says, a man that had it friends must shoot himself friendly, and there's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Let's see some more. Yeah, go ahead. So, Yahweh said, I don't call you uh, servants, but friends. That's right. So now when you get into that, this is not the same friend that love it at all times. This is a different way you got to correlate this. Right, because y'all always try to look at us as friends, so he show himself as a friend, right? As a man do unto you, you're supposed to do unto him, right? It's supposed to be an equal relationship of equality, right? Right. It says, and there's a friend that's speaking closer than a brother, which I was shy is our big brother, but even as a friend, he have told us the things the Lord uh gonna do. So is what he's more than that. So Anything you be towards a man, a man have to be towards you. It have to be quality, man. You know? And we got brothers, friends, and the truth that stick close than our than our carnal brothers God. and families. Right? right? So it's basically yeah. saying it's, it's better than a friend in the truth is yeah. better than a brother in real life. Hey, man. Get that one uh, well, yeah. I wish I said who's my mother, who's my father. Yeah. A brother don't you, you're not a brother by blood, but you are you a friend in your house shy. That's what makes us Going back to that brother. Going back to, yeah, oh, yeah, we right. call that Yahweh Shai. Yeah, you got it. I, I think they call it the, the New Testament. The royal, <laughs> yeah, the royal, they call it the royal, uh, bloodline? Oh, no, it's, it's in the New Testament. Oh, okay. It's kind of escaping me right now. 
but we that what makes us i think they call it the uh Kinsman. royal the royal law oh i know i, I know what you're talking. That, that what makes us all right through the through the, the loyalty and, 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 and the uh the dedication to to keeping these commandments the law to the commandments of yahweh that would make that what makes us that what makes us a part of this brotherhood man all right Go ahead, you got it? Yup, it's James 2 and 8. If ye fulfill the royal law, according to the scriptures, thou shalt love thy neighbors thyself, ye do well. Right. That what makes us kinsmen, man. Kinsmen. All yep. right? That what makes us a, a family. All right? Because these people in the world, our family, we family by them by blood. But but nothing really unites you or bring you together. But, mm -hmm. oh, we, we were the same tree. But... This this source, which is Jehovah by Shah, this what makes right. us family through this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This counts more. All right. Now you had you had a scenario where a family member, an uncle, a cousin calls me right now, and then a brother calls me. I'm going to the brother before I go to the before I go to the family. They gotta wait. That's right. You know? And then and then done it. All right. This becomes this truth becomes it comes way before my feelings, way before, way before my family, man. All right, it sounds cold, hey, but it is what it is, man. You can just the header. The true family, of Yahweh. Yeah, the true family, Yahweh shot in the brother's header in, in his Bible, man. You about to say something? Yeah, we, with our family members, carnal family members, we entered into a blood lineage. With our brothers in Yahweh shot, we entered into a blood covenant. Right. It's different. It's different. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah bring it up. Oh yeah. They think yeah. Uh, Saint Matthew chapter twelve verse forty six. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto them that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards the disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother, sister, and mother. And this thing is deeper than what you see. All right. A lot, a lot of, a lot of so-called uh, 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 Bible thumpers, keyboard gladiators and warriors, they only see the surface of what they see on a, on a video. There's things going on. They got true love the ministry going on behind the scenes too things are happening things brothers do things for each other all right this ain't just we meet up stand on the corner and put on garments man and, and grow out and, and put rosemary <laughs> on our face to grow goddamn beards man all right and put and burn incense this has got this has got a, a warehouse full of incense to burn and stones to work no it's bigger things going on behind the scenes man but that's how they think though no we're really talking that's how they think fun, though bro. Lessons. i'm saying that brothers on the phone four five hours and take no no shit bro. yeah you don't know man don't know, bro. a lot of you speak about the apostles and, and and don't really know never met them man. never never been around them you know we got a lot of shit to say a lot of you have shit to say about us on the common board and don't know shit man i really love these men all right the apostles and the men that's doing the work behind this all right through good bad and the ugly because it gets like that you got to look at that yeah i get into it with the i get into it with a brother hey he's still my brother like you got like this brother always say you got some guy i'm no more israelite i just, I'm, just take this shit off I ain't, I ain't israelite no more how can you do that you're still an israelite <laughs> all right same thing when it comes to uh the apostles, man. You got guys that get into with the apostles. Oh, fuck, I'm going home. You ain't, you ain't my, you ain't my elder no more. It's still the elder. You know, if you really, if you really a man that's dealing with, all right, dealing with uh, what's the, what's the word? It's on tip of my tongue, man. Damn. It kind of escaped me. No, that's the other word, man. Integrity. Yeah, integrity. Nobody if you got as really, if you if you got as really <laughs> different with, with integrity through the good, bad, and ugly, you gonna say, or say, hey, man, that's 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 my that's still my elder. They say that. You know, even a, even a kung fu guy, you know, 
walking in integrity. Yes. What are these two? I just read. Yeah, walking in integrity. Because even though things happen, come on, man, these goddamn they, 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 they wild, wild, man. Not you know, sure even even though it's happening, you know, they still they still they still the men of the Lord, man. All right. <laughs> even with uh when we have a shy call, I think Peter, he called Peter a whole devil. God, he called him Satan, man. Yeah, get behind me, Satan. Yeah, get behind. And he he, he might have said it rough too. You know, he said it rough. What that mean? What that mean? Look, you know. Did you think you think Peter looked at you how shy any different? No. That's still that's still my Lord. You know. He ain't grudge. He ain't grudge about it and shit. You know, he went on about his way. Cause see, that's that's the thing, man. All right. You know, and I for the last past couple of months, I've been looking at certain certain uh, videos. Of uh, uh, Elon, Ishmael, case in point, those men, those men are to the point. Even in this very day, 2023, when they hug and embrace each other, they they get close to each other, man. Really? That's lost on this side. That's right. That's why I went into uh, the Deuteronomy. Those things are lost on this side. The true love for men. You you hear about the scripture about your house, uh Who that was? I think it was Peter. One of them laid on your house child's breast, man. That's lost on this side. You. You know they look at as that's been the, yeah, the yeah, big yeah. G word, funny. you know, funny. You know, these things the the, the 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 what is the Eastern culture of the old world of how men used to act, deal with each other, how men used to love and care about each other is gone on this side. It, it's purposely been stripped. People are assholes on this side, man. All right, how they deal with each other. Now we come from a. Even here, I'm going to say this. New Orleans has been one of the last places that I've seen. It's gone now. But the hospitality, goodbye. All right. Uh, uh, what did you say when people leave? See you later. See you later. Uh, be, safe. be safe and all that other shit. Farewell. Excuse me. Good morning. How you doing? That shit gone, man. This this, this little new co- this new new little generation, they don't do it. But I didn't see any that's an old man out in the goddamn store man yeah. right the, the the well-being the well-being for the for the ancient of our society that's gone the respect is gone but you can't we can't still we, we, we can't take those things from the world of the, the respect being gone you can't bring that into the truth either man you gotta respect you gotta respect men this this is a man at the end of the day you know go ahead what you about to say something about system right I had a, I had a, a, a Bring it up. Uh, Psalms 133. I'm going to start at verse 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to, to dwell together in unity. Yeah, how good and pleasant. Because when, yeah, man, when brothers do come together, brothers come in unity, man, it should be, it'd be fun. You, you, you forget about. All right, the affairs of this life, man. Just for that little hour, two, three hours you're around, brother. Especially when we just doing things, all right, in the sense of just chilling. The boxing matches, the MMA shit, things out in the world that we do together. You Just from that little moment, man, you forget about a lot of other shit. Then you hate the goat. Then you got to go back to the bullshit. Bills, bickering, all right, assholes, man. Right. Go ahead. I, I got to read the next two steps. I'm going to get that word unity and strong. It's a page 31 Union, united-ness, together, all together, all together, alike. Yeah. And we all united, man. That's the... Hey man, we and we do this sometimes. We we have we have quote unquote unity camps. Not only because we all in agreements, GMS more. We when we go we go to Memphis, that's a unity. Camp. We come together, united together, man. In the same doctrine, the same law such commandments that you have about shot. We don't. That's why we don't get with you other camps, man. All right, niggas is off. Niggas eating Doritos. We got niggas drinking Coca Cola. All right, you know all ty- all types of shit, man. What? This is verse two. Hey, just to hey, back up what you just said. What are, what are we united in? 
brotherly love to what? The law, statutes, and commandments. Because what did, uh, I believe it was Yahweh that said, these are the two laws which the whole law, kind of, which the whole law uh, lies upon. Hey, love the most high and, you know, love your brother as yourself. And how do you love your brother? What is love according to the scriptures? Fulfillment of the law. Fulfillment of the law. And that's what counts, man. The raw you love. All right? That's what counts. You can't, you can't, all of a sudden when, it, when things apply to you, they, the, the, the royal law, the, the scriptures, none counts anymore. Oh, put the Bible <laughs> down. You want to do everything is filled off emotions. All right, filled off other bullshit. No, it, that still that still has to come in. The scriptures still have to come in, the, in effect, man. Right. All right. Anybody got anything else? Oh, yeah, just verse. Yeah, I got, uh, I, yeah, I got verse. Right. Verse, verse two. two. And remember, the the first verse was talking about unity. This is verse two. It is like the precious ointment upon the head. And we know that that oil <clears throat> is what the understanding, mm -hmm. the truth that ran down upon the beard. Even Aaron's beard, and Aaron was a priest. And what are we? We're the priests that went down to the skirts of his garments. And what's on the garments? The fringes, the laws, statutes, and commandments, which we love. The, which is what it yeah, love is. Yeah, yeah. All of the blue. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we about to get out of here. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We ended on this, brother. Um, I, I had to. I'm, I'm gonna grab um, this one. This is Second uh, Samuel one and twenty six. Kind of, you can bring it up. All right, but it says, "I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women." And if I can say, hey, uh, even myself coming from the world, reading the scripture. You're thing like, hey, yo, what, what's going on right here? Mm -hmm. But once you start to understand how, like the elder was going into, the the loss for the, the loss, of, um, our lost culture of loving your brother, like they don't do that no more, you know. But once you start to understand, all right, Jonathan was a righteous man, David was a righteous man, so it wasn't no funny business going on. You'll say, hey, what's going on there? Nah, he didn't trespass against his brother. You know, he, he, you want, you want to say something? He loved him like a brother, even though he wasn't of his, quote unquote, he wasn't kin to him by blood, but through, through other affairs, all right, like this, preaching a little, he, he, they united and came together as if they were brothers, man. That's a pass, the pass of winning. That, that's, that's the bro before whole scripture, man. That's right, bro. All right. If, Go ahead, I, if, if I might add, you know, hey, that's why the scriptures tell you in uh, the book of Sirach, I believe the eighth chapter, they tell you to prove a man first before you call him your friend. Now, without a doubt, you 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 have to consider this. Those two men, they didn't bicker before, you know, possibly even, you know, uh, uh, you know, got into it with each other. Hey, Jonathan, then that went against his daddy, brother. That's right. So, you know, uh, some part of the separated. He did go against him. Right. You know something, something, you know, drastic happened to make David feel that way about Jonathan. You know, and that's proven a man because you might say, well, how do you prove a man through different, different um, adversities, right? And coming back and, and performing a love with your brother, like, like brothers you've been into. You got yeah, brothers like need involved. you to be there in their adversities more that's than right. that when it's a friendly time. Like I say, hey, that hey, or man. some bit me good. But a brother needs you to be there in the adversity because that's the time when the brother could, he could go off, he could break the law. It's like that's the time the brother needs you there when it, he ain't feeling good. You know what I mean? We be there around for the good times, but it's about the ugly times that you got to bring a brother back to remember the good times, remember this, hey, keep him to bring him demons, close. Even when he have demons. When he have demons. Right? That's the same thing. That's you know? a, a time adverse. It's an adverse time. So he don't know how to weather that uh, at the time he might be not in his in his scriptural mind, right? And he may be his flesh may be attacking him, and you gotta adverse the brother mind back to the scriptural way so he could get back on path, and that's how you kiss him, and that's what David meant by kissing him, which oh, means to yeah, respect yeah. or reveal. So you respect the brother, like I know this brother a godly man, but he in his flesh, 
I'm about to tell him the godly things, and then he gonna remember his godly he purpose. Return. He gonna return, and you what? You gain your brother. That's when right. you gain him, you bring him close to you. That's why when you kiss, you embrace. Come. Same thing That's with good. same thing. That's you got it, bro. Yeah, go ahead. I, I just had some real quick yeah, back up. Good. This other uh, book of Sirach six and good. eight, and it says, "For some man is a friend for his own occasion." There you go. And will not abide in the day of trouble. That's exactly what you were just saying. Hey, we're in trouble. Men of the Lord, we get in trouble. Mentally, we get in trouble. Physically, let's not play games, right? Because Satan, we're attacked by Satan every day, all day. So we get in trouble. But this nigga Satan know your thoughts. He know your thoughts. He what know you, what he get know, to you? He know you before you. He know you from the beginning. He, he know everything angel. about you, man. The end of you. He know the end of you, man. Hey, I, 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 that's why I got. I got I'm gonna make. A, I'm gonna make an intro with that. Like that, the dude uh, Mike Tyson said that. He said, "Man, when you love by, when you love by the Most High, you favored by Satan too." Yes, sir. Wow. Satan wants you too, man. Go. It's a, it's heavy, man. Go ahead. I, that was, that was, yeah, it, 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 it. All right, this uh Saint Matthew yeah. chapter You can go into it too, uh, chapter twenty five, verse thirty one. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. He's talking about when Yahweh comes back, you start putting these Edomites to death, and he's gathering the elect. He says and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared to you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when shall we hunger? When saw we thee hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick it's or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, which verily means truthfully, inasmuch as ye have done it unto the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. That's a good one to cap it off, man. Right, knowing when whatever you do to a brother, you doing it to your house shot. All right, through the spirit. All right, and that that goes for the good and the bad. All right. The man that's holding grudges against your house shot. Yeah, you can't, you can't hold a grudge against a brother, a man of the Lord, and then say you love your house shot, man. That's how we treat each other is how we treat your house shot. Tells you in Ephesians four, we're we're the body. We're all the body of your house shot, Mashiach. So how you treat the least, like, like you just said. It don't, it don't matter who you is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, you got some guys that just, when you get to them, they don't, they don't count. Yeah. You know? I ain't talking about me. You know, I'm exempt. Nah, nah, man. Go ahead, huh? It says, And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. That's that's ultimate brotherhood, man. Even brothers in the world, you know, if you do something, you can't say you love a man and you hate his little brother. You beat up his little brother and then say, you, no, man, what you did to my brother, you did to me. Yeah. That's how you how Shai feels about his elect. So that's how we have to feel about it. Oh, it's family. Yeah. We are family, brother. You, you offend one of us, we all offended. Okay. We just was offended for some, all. We just all offended. I, yeah. he, he didn't even really do nothing per se straight to that man. But yeah. everybody, like, he hit him out of, like, I'm yeah. fucking I'm offended, offended too. You said what to the brother? I don't know. It's like you said it to me. When the scarf would come on the block and get high with the brother, like everybody's like, everybody against him. Like you're all my against your enemy. Yeah, we not, we not with you. Ain't nobody with you out here, man. Wherever it's going, you're gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah, man. So with that, we're gonna end it off by saying all praise, glory, and honor to you. The bonus once again to the elders, apostles of GMS. Peace and blessings and salutations. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.